This demonstration shows how to identify high ratios of remote NUMA DRAM access and the resulting UPI data traffic using Intel VTune Profiler Platform Profiler Analysis Type. Start by configuring a remote Linux target system and the workload that is to be profiled. The Platform Profiler Analysis Type is in the Platform Analysis Group. This analysis collects coarse grain system level metrics to identify hardware bottlenecks and inefficient use of hardware. The platform profiler analysis type can collect data for much longer than other analysis types. This demonstration workload runs for about three minutes, so much of the execution time is cut from this video. When the workload completes, it reports the key workload activities completed in a range of between 30 and 36 billion clock ticks. When V2 finalizes the platform profiler data, it starts the Platform Profiler service in the background. The Platform Profiler analysis results are displayed in a Platform Profiler tab that contains a drop-down combo box to view the results in multiple ways, including a system view, per socket, memory, and UPI views. The Platform Profiler tab contains three main sections, a platform diagram that shows additional details when the mouse hovers over a component, an interactive timeline, and detailed metrics in PIs, histograms, and interactive timelines. This workload had a steady memory utilization, but it was memory bound and had a high percentage of remote NUMA accesses where data being accessed was in DRAM off the other socket. This also generated large cross-socket UPI traffic with many spikes to satisfy the remote NUMA accesses. Mouse hovering over the timeline shows additional details for that portion of the timeline. The additional power, sleep state, network throughput, and disk I.O. metrics look as expected for this workload. The memory view shows additional memory access and utilization metrics, including page faults and allocations, and DRAM power. It also shows the remote NUMA accesses and DRAM traffic per processor socket. This view shows large spikes in remote NUMA accesses on each socket with associated reduction in local DRAM traffic. Next, this demonstration collects a V2 and platform profiler analysis with assigning affinity of all threads in the workload to cores on socket zero. This demonstration workload runs for about three minutes so much of the execution time is cut from this video. When the workload completes, it reports that key workload activities completed in a more consistent range of about 30 billion clock ticks compared to the previous range of between 30 and 36 billion clock ticks. After VTune Profiler completes the finalization of the data, it displays the results in the Platform Profiler tab. After scrolling down to the memory bounds analysis and NUMA access timelines, we see this workload is still mostly memory bound, but now most of the NUMA accesses are to local memory. This data demonstrates the memory access performance optimization that this workload can gain by assigning affinity of the active threads and processes to processor cores in a single socket. The memory view shows that each processor socket's memory accesses are mostly local and the resulting steady DRAM traffic. Mouse hovering over the timeline shows more detailed information for the metrics at that time and allows correlating across multiple timelines. The per socket DRAM traffic shows an order of magnitude more read throughput on socket 0 compared to socket 1. 